second part of this project. You've got your background paper. You got everything set. You do need a photograph of yourself because I think working from a mirror while you're doing this is a little difficult. So some kind of photo of yourself to see the shape of your head and any accessories you might want to have. So there's my photo. And then you need to think about skin color paper. This is construction paper that I had tan. This is tissue paper that's kind of see-through that I had tan for skin color. And this is handmade um, paper, uh, colored paper, just white paper painted with watercolor, tan. So whatever effect you want. I kind of like the see-through so you can see the writing behind. And what I'm gonna do is I'm looking at the shape of my face from the photograph and I'm laying this down here, and I'm gonna do um, a head shape and a little bit of a neck. I just wanna see if it needs any more. Okay, um, so if you feel like you need to use a pencil first, you can, but I'm gonna just go for an oval and I also have a tracer that I included for you to use in the Google Classroom so there is my oval this is tissue paper so it's a little thin there's my oval and a neck which is just like a rectangle and then we'll do a shirt later so I will cut this out Show the black line. And I'll show you the tracer as well. Now I have glue water. It's half water, half glue for tissue paper. If you're just using regular paper, regular glue water. See, I even labeled it for you. This is water glue, it's thinner. Ooh, there's a big clump on that brush and we've used that in the art room and this is thick glue so now I'm going to use the water glue right over the tissue paper with little brush strokes and it sticks if you're using a different kind of paper like this you would use regular glue because it's opaque it's not see-through now I can see my writing underneath, and that's okay. I kind of like that effect. You decide as an artist what effect you like. Okay, there's the neck. Get the crinkles out, make it nice and smooth. Like I said, you might not, you, if you have pink, pink tissue paper or a dark brown tissue paper, whatever you feel like your skin color is, you can use it. I don't even know if I'm gonna like this, but it's it goes, it blends out. Now the shirt is solid, the shirt, I use a tracer. Oh, this, by the way, is the tracer that I have that is in the classroom that you can use. And the shirt tracer is a shirt tracer. And I'm just, you know, I have a green sweater on in this photo and a t-shirt, but this is a basic shirt. You could always detail your portraits. These are self-portraits. I'm cutting this out. And this will take regular glue because it's not tissue paper. There's really no right or wrong with this. I just want you to play and come up with your a nice self-portrait with description behind. So this is our step two. And I'm going to regular glue. And I'm putting it down. And this is my step two. 